In this video, I will try to help you to get rid of the clutter on your desktop in 5 easy to follow steps. Hi, I'm Tech Enthusiast and I make tech oriented videos. And with that said, let's get started. Now, if you have a desktop which looks like this, you can easily fix it by right clicking somewhere on your desktop, then click on the view and in the new drop down menu which just appeared, uncheck the option show desktop icons. Now, please don't panic. All the files on your desktop are still on your computer and to access them, you will need to open the file explorer and here you will click on the desktop icon, which should be on the left side of the file explorer. Now you can see all your files inside your desktop folder. If the files are unorganized, I highly recommend that you create separate folders four different type of files, or you can organize them based on the topic like school or work folder, for example. If you want to create a folder, you can click on the new button inside the file explorer, which should be located on the top left corner. Now from the drop down menu, select folder and name it to your preference. Now you can drag all the files which correlate with the folder's name inside this folder. And this is it, now you will need to repeat this process with the other unorganized files on your desktop. By the way, if you're asking yourself what is that wallpaper on my desktop, then make sure that you check out the first link in the video description down below. Moving on to the taskbar, if you have a lot of icons on your taskbar, I highly recommend that you pick only a few which you use every single day, like file explorer and browsers for example, and then just remove the others by right clicking on the unwanted application and now select unpin from the taskbar. In Windows 11 and I believe Windows 10 as well, you can customize the taskbar based to your preference. So to do exactly that, you can right click on the empty space inside the taskbar and then click on the taskbar settings. On the top, you will find taskbar items and my suggestion is that if you don't use it, just remove it. So for the search, you will select hide. For the task view, you will turn it off and do the same for the widgets. And that's not all, because down below you will find taskbar behaviors option. Here you can change the taskbar alignment from center to the left. If you want, you can also turn on automatically hide taskbar option. And down below you will find the option called combine taskbar buttons and labels, with which you can change the look of your opened application inside taskbar. If you want to see the title, select never, or if you don't, select always. If you want your taskbar to look like a dock, then I suggest that you install a program called Start All Back. Now, this program is paid, but it also offers 30 days free trial. You can download it from their website, which I will also leave a link in the video description right below the like button. Now, once installed, you should see a screen which looks like this. Click on the proper 11 option and from the menu on the left, select taskbar. Now, down below for the option Combine Taskbar Buttons, select Always Hide Labels. Further down below, check the option Centered Task Icons and then the option Segments as well. From the drop down menu, select just Central Segment. And this is pretty much it for the dock. Now let's move on to the wallpaper. So if you're interested to my current wallpaper, then make sure that you go ahead to this link, or I will also put a first link in the video description. So you can go to this website and check out my Vivid Horizons wallpaper pack. But this is not our only option because here we also have the wallpaper engine, which I think it's totally worth it for four euros. You get stunning live wallpapers on Steam as well as on this website. Or if you don't have the budget or if you are more into open source software, here we also have the lively wallpaper, which is totally open source, free to download. It has a ton of customization features like lock screen taskbar customization and then you also have a lot of the preset wallpapers which are really really nice so this is our third option for the live wallpapers and then we have the fourth option which is basically unsplash.com so unsplash.com is most famous for the static
like images, the wallpapers, then we have here a few more other categories like nature, 3D renders and so and so on. So most of the time I get my wallpapers from the unsplash.com from the wallpaper section and basically pick whichever you like and then download it and set it as your background. But I won't suggest live wallpapers for the laptop users. I highly recommend unsplash.com or you can just download my wallpaper pack from the coffee.com as well. So if you're using laptop, I highly suggest static wallpapers. If you are using a desktop, then go for lively wallpaper app or for the wallpaper engine. And that's pretty much it. Now, once we have the wallpaper, we can also move to the widgets. Now, two of the most popular widget options. The first one is the rain meter and the second one is the B widgets from the Microsoft of store so if you don't like to use rain meter then the alternative would be this one b widgets which you can get completely for free from the microsoft store application now i will also put this link for this wallpaper if you find it to like this wallpaper i will put a link in the video description this is the wallpaper and now let's install the rain meter and the widget which is the most famous widget for the rain meter which i think it's called mon let's go to the rainmeter.net and then click on the download button to get the xf file and meanwhile this is downloading we can go here to the another tab and search for the rain meter mont skin and go to this website which is called visualskins.com and scroll down and select here download and now you will get the .rm skin file and now you can basically close all the browser windows now let's go to the downloads folder and here make sure that you open the rain meter installer click on ok here next install and click on yes here click on the finish once you have the rain meter installed we can go back to the downloads folder and click here to the .rm skin file to install the month skin when this is done we can close the settings here and then we can basically remove all of the unwanted skins from this month skin pack so right click on the player click on the unload skin and down below we also have the recycle bin which i will also right click and click on the unload and then we are left with this uh, date skin as well as this dot if you don't see it clearly you can click on the unload and it will remove this dot as well from your desktop now i will place this widget somewhere here on the top now I will right click and then we will need to click on edit the skin. And now we will need to change a few of the values to, to our liking basically. Now here we have the scale. Now the scale is currently set to 1.6. I will set this one to 1.35. And now if I press control and save to save the file and refresh the skin, you will see that it got bigger. But here's the thing that I don't like the date here and the clock, I would only like to have day text on my desktop. So I will right click on the skin, click on the edit skin here, and now we will need to remove a few of the strings of the code. So here I will scroll down and remove the meter 24 hour clock as well as meter 12 hour clock. And now we will also need to remove meter date as well. So this is pretty much it. Now we can press control and S on your keyboard to save this configuration file you can go here uh, right click on the skin and click on the refresh and now we can put it somewhere here on the middle on of the top of our screen and i think this is pretty much it for the skins now with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this simple tutorial i hope you guys watched until the end thank you so much for watching if you haven't already make sure that you smash that subscribe button and don't forget on the like button as well all the required files will be linked in the video description and with that said have an amazing rest of your day guys and i'll see you all in the next one peace